Well, good morning, uh, everyone, uh, and uh, welcome to our our practical number two. Um, practical two, of course, as you uh, know, it's in as included in your um, uh, practical manual. It's about machine identification e-studying checks and routine maintenance. So it, it's kind of like, uh, it's a, um, it's a uh, practical that gives you some, uh, some ideas of uh, what to, what to uh, check, you know, particularly for the small machines uh, before, you, um, before you start a machine. Huh? And I think uh, to a great extent, it also uh, not just for two-stroke engines, although our practical today would be on a uh, well, four-stroke uh, petrol engine and um, two-stroke uh, petrol engine for those two. Now for the diesel engine, we won't be doing that today. We will be uh, having a separate uh, practical on uh, the tractor itself. So the engine, the, the diesel engine, then we will deal with that when, when uh, we do the practical on tractor familiarization. But today we concentrate on uh, uh, single cylinder, two stroke pet, uh, petrol engine, uh, sorry, a two, uh, uh, a one, a single cylinder, four stroke petrol engine, and a, um, a two-stroke engine, huh? which is the petrol one. Okay, as you can see on, uh, on the, I, I've included that on, on the top there. Uh, we've got the uh, handout uh, on, on the manual, and these are the directions we are going to go through with the four-stroke petrol engine first, and then, as you can see, we do all of these steps, the um, one up to 14. And then for two-stroke engines, we do a similar one of steps one to five. Okay, now for the, just going down briefly through the list, Record the kind, make, model, and serial numbers of the engine. Uh, this particular step is important because you need to know um, how to um, find this information. Because sometimes when you are looking for spare parts for the engine, they will you will need to identify what the engine is. Hence, uh, this this uh, step number one is to find what is the kind, what is the make. What is the model? What are the, what is the serial number? Because this is the kind of information that uh, you know people who supply their parts of engines will look for. Uh, so you need to. This is an identification. The serial number is the uh, the number the number that is particular to that type of engine uh, or to that machine itself. So, uh, and then go through the, uh, the uh, list down here. So we, uh, for step one, we do it this, uh, for a four-stroke petrol engine, and then we also do it for the two-stroke petrol engine. Just wanna highlight that, because it's important that you, uh, you uh, for me, particularly if, you, if it's your engine, it's a it's, uh, it's the kind of information that you should be aware of. Uh, okay. Uh, just before we uh, go around and uh, uh, carry out the practical, I just wanna uh, let you know that uh, if you haven't, if you haven't visited the the. Um, our mobile page, which you can see on the, I, I, I've got on the screen there. <coughs> um, I just want to highlight that um, 
when you go inside, there are, are some modifications that I, I have already uh, informed you about on the news and announcement uh, uh, section of the Moodle page. You can see the Moodle page up there on the screen. And um, the due dates, particularly the due dates, you can see there that uh, I've, uh, because of the uh, time it takes uh, uh, sometimes for the, the lectures and the tutorials and the video recordings, it may take some time, particularly at this stage, to have those loaded up onto the Moodle page. I have uh, kept the uh, kept the um, due dates because as uh, as as um, scheduled earlier for face-to-face -face students because they don't uh, they don't uh, rely on this uh, on on, uh, on on what's pasted on the Moodle for their reports. But uh, online students, it will take some time for you to access the information. So therefore, I've. Uh, Extended the due deadlines for online students by one week, uh, so that would make will at least give you um, you online students uh, some uh, you know uh, convenient uh, perhaps might be not the right word, but it gives you a bit more uh, time to in case uh, something uh, is uh, is. Uh, you know, it's not uploaded in time uh, because for any, for all of these practicals, you need to uh, re study the lecture, study the uh, relevant tutorials, um, and and uh, study the practical that's being recorded now. And then, as I was saying in in the. Um, in, in the instructions and suggestions and recommendations, even not just to uh, for the local tutors in Manawatu, Solomon Islands, and Lavala campus, that uh, you know once you got that information, it, the best thing to do is to take the class and go out and find uh, resources in in your country where you can then repeat the practical. The best thing for learning is to. For new online students to go out, there are uh, you know all of these uh, materials that we are we're using here for the practical class in uh, Sabo campus is available in your country. So that means you will have to go out to your local community and find uh, samples of these uh, materials and carry out the class here. Now I know uh, the Pala campus is doing that. They are using. Uh, the Coronavia Research Station uh, materials uh, and, uh, and and so on. Uh, I hope Vanuatu uh, will do the same, and I hope also for Solomon Islands. But you know, all of these materials, and they don't have to be new. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, I mean, there, there, there must be some engine shops there. They have uh, engines that. Uh, they, Parts of engines lying about, you know, you just go and uh, have a look. That to me is the best high quality learning experience. Now, for countries that don't have any uh, local tutors, you can do the same by studying these materials and then you, uh, you yourself can go out and uh, you can go out and, and do your own, uh, you know, maybe you can organize yourselves into a small group. And because the reasons why you don't have a tutor is if there is not enough of you in, uh, in particularly in the smaller countries. Not enough of you to justify having a tutor. So maybe three or four of you can organize yourselves and then you go out and find places where these materials are available. And then you, uh, you do your own practical there, take your own photos, and uh, all of these materials are available even in Tuvalu and Kiribati. I know you have you have uh, two stoke engines there. You have four, uh, four stoke engines there, even tractors. So if you do that, then I know 
that would be that will be uh, I regard as the as the highest quality uh, submission report. Uh, and I will give you the, the highest marks. Um, of course, if you cannot, uh, maybe you don't have time time to do it, and uh, you just don't feel like it. You can use the materials pasted on Moodle, like uh, you know, uh, just scroll down. This is the Moodle page. You go inside and see it. Um, so here's the photos from uh, available on Moodle for you to use. So these are the, these are the pictures now in uh, on the Moodle page. So you can use this is for practical one. These are now available on Moodle. Yeah, so you need to uh, read uh, read the manual, uh, the, uh, the practical manual. You can use these photos, which are now on Moodle, and um, you know for your report. Yeah, okay, that's on the Moodle page. The 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 photos here and photos there. And this is our video of uh, that we, uh, the practicals that we did last week. It's now also on Moodle, the Moodle page. So everything is now up to date. Even the lectures that we had for whole of last week up to Monday this week are now also all on Moodle. But you know, you have no, uh, you know, you to pass this course. You must go and visit the Moodle page every visitor recording, every day, basically. Mm. So, back to uh, practical two. Um, so, um, you read uh, the um, objectives, uh, yeah, now, I I I, um, I said I, I also uh, mentioned many times that you you just follow the procedure follow uh, so for this number one it's just the numbers you just put the number kind yeah whatever it is uh, kind uh, of uh, is uh, what is the type it's a chainsaw uh, so it's uh, Today we'll be using um, for the four-stroke engine. We will be, it's called a free-standing engine. That's what it's called. You can look it up in the internet. For a well, four-stroke petrol engine, it's, it's a free-standing engine. Uh, the make is company who made it. Uh, do you look for that? The model usually there's a model number on, on the engine. And the serial number, there's also a serial number on the engine. Just answer that. Don't, don't put in unnecessary things. If you get the, the right answer, and you get the, the marks. If you look in the marking criteria or marking rubric, that's the only things that get marked with the right uh, response. Uh, and you don't have to write a whole page, just one line. If one line is sufficient, okay, that's why I take a photo and identify these things. Uh, so just put an arrow where fuel is added. On the picture, you put an arrow to, to where the petrol uh, tank is, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so this may only take uh, you uh, one, or, one or two or three pages because if you put in the photos, that will take up uh, some space. Uh, because the main thing here is to, you know, just look, identify these things and go through these steps. Okay. Um, well, by this time you will have a copy for online students, you will have a copy in front of you of the, of the handout, which is on the board. But we will move over there so you may not be able to see the board, but you should have a a copy in front of you as, as you watch the video. Ah. Okay.
Then let's move, let's move to the where the machines are and continue from there. Yeah. Okay, come around here and uh, we'll start off with this engine. So this is the this is a four-stroke engine. This is the one we had a look at last week. This is a four-stroke engine. So uh, it works on that uh, four spokes in induction, compression, power, and it goes on. One, the kind. So it's a, it's a, I know it's a freestanding engine. Freestanding engine because that's what it's called. It's just, it's, it's just the engine standing by itself. Ah. It's uh, meant to, um, it's a four stroke petrol engine. The main purpose is to turn this um, crankshaft. You have a water pump that needs to, you know, to uh, pump something. When, when this turns, you attach the, the uh, that's, uh, you know, uh, one of those things where it has a belt attached it to here, and uh, it will turn the pump. I have seen this engine being used in uh, some Asian countries. What they did was to uh, attach, put this on a trailer. Uh, and then they have a, a belt that is attached to here and it's attached to the, the back wheel or the, the wheel of the trailer. Uh, so when this turns, it turns the wheel of the trailer and the trailer goes on the road. Uh, by use, the use of this thing. Okay, so it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a freestanding engine. Uh, uh, that's a kind. Ah, kind. It's a, it's a, the make. The make. Yeah. This is a famous. Um, it's a famous company. Uh, I think it's based in. Uh, in uh, America. Ah. It's a. It's a Greek and Stratton. Mm. Okay, but these were brought, uh, you know, many years ago, so um, we have to get a new manual for them. Anyway, this is the uh, make, honey, bricks and Stratton. You see the power, it has a power of two horsepower. Remember, one horsepower is equal to uh, 0 0.7, I think it's 0 0.754 of uh, watts, kilowatts. Mm -hmm. Zero point, uh, so it's about, if it's uh, two times 0 point, uh, it's about uh, 1.5 kilowatts. Uh, anyway, we haven't come, we haven't uh, uh, covered the, uh, calculation of power yet, so don't worry about that. The model, what is the model? Read out the model first. Model number. Model number is 60102. Yeah, that's the model number. And the serial number? Serial number is J357948. Uh, okay. Yeah. Get somebody. Uh, for serial number for this one. Yeah. It's J three five seven nine four six. Okay. So you see, uh, the only, the only difference between this one and this one is the serial number. Everything else is the same. Ah. Huh. Briefly explain an obvious reason that confirms to you that this is in fact. A four-stroke petrol engine. So what do you think? Spark plug. Yeah. No, well, that that shows. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, evidence of a petrol engine. But but uh, you also know that the two-stroke engine petrol. Uh, it uses petrol and it also uses a spark plug. So you need an evidence to show this is not a two-stroke engine. 
the, the evidence is it has a the other evidence is two two uh, it has a spark plug and what do you say a carburetor uh, yeah this is a spark plug and then the carburetor of course is this one here. between uh, the air supply and the petrol tank because both of them go in and you mix and you deliver inside so that proves it's a petrol engine it is not a diesel engine, but it doesn't prove that it's a, that it's a four-stroke engine. Ah. The only um, thing that proves it is, in fact, it has an oil tank. It's an oil tank here. Uh, you can, uh, you know, we can take the... This one has a two... Uh, two uh, caps for the oil tank, one on that side and one on this side. Can I say, uh, <coughs> and uh, you know that, uh, that the, the uh, two-stroke engine doesn't have an oil tank. The oil is mixed together with the petrol. The special uh, two-stroke. So you can, you can uh, check if you're in there by <coughs> taking off the oil cap and you can see if you uh, look closely enough in there you can see the oil it sort of levels up by having two uh, caps um, so you can check you can check the oil level by just looking and see if there you can see oil uh, yeah. I, love it. Mm -hmm. I can see the oil it's, it's enough oil yeah. So this, this one here is a four-stroke uh, engine, so it will use a four-stroke a four engine oil. Well, this one is for, yeah, SA, this one, um, it says uh, SAE 10 w What it means is uh, it's suitable for 10 W up to 30. Normally, uh, for if you go to buy an oil here in, for cars in Samoa, for four-stroke uh, engines, it's, uh, it's either SAE 30 or SAE 40. For countries that are cold, they would, they would use the SAE 10. Uh, normally, it's called W, meaning 10 W, winter. Uh, when, when it's cold, the oil gets thickened. But uh, you want the oil to move around in the engine. You don't want it to sit there, you know, thick. So, um, but in the, in the cold, uh, in hot countries, the oil will get thinner uh, because of the heat. So, um, in, in cold countries, you tend to, to use the, the 10W because the oil is thinner um, and it doesn't uh, freeze up. And for hot climates, you use SAE 30. But we cover that uh, later during our practical on uh, tractor maintenance, I think. For the two-stroke engines, you use this oil. This is a special, special air-cooled oil. And um, although it doesn't have the numbers here, they tend to be SAE 70, 80, 90. Uh, the oil for this one is uh, SAE 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. But the uh, oil for two stroke engines tend to be the higher numbers, SAE 70, 80, and 90. And the reason is, I want to make it um, so different that you don't confuse them. So the higher numbers is for two-stroke engines, but this one is mixed together with the petrol, and then uh, it's burnt inside the combustion chamber. Okay. So that uh, that that's the evidence you need to give here. It is a it has a spark plug. Mm -hmm. I think that's the main. It's, it's a stroke. It's a it's a petrol engine. It has a spark plug. That's all. Diesels don't have, so it's not a diesel.
uh, <clears throat> but it's a petrol engine. But it doesn't prove that it's a, it's 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 a it's not a two-stroke engine. It's not a two-stroke engine because it has an oil tank. I think those two will prove it. Uh, okay. Okay. Then you need to take a photo, and then you show where the fuel is filled here. I'm sorry. Here. Fuel, fuel tank. Yeah. Oil is checked and filled. Here. Air filter here. This this oil filter uses uh, a sponge, uh, an oil soaked sponge. And I'm not sure there's one in here, but it's an oil. Uh, it's a sponge mixed in oil, and the air goes through it, and the sponge. Um, it's in, 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 yeah, the, the sponge. The air goes in here, the small space up on the top. The air goes inside, mix, goes through the, the sponge and the oil, and then enters the engine, the coupling. Ah, enters the, the engine through the coupling. But um, I think this one, uh, yeah, so the oil is in there, but. It doesn't have a sponge right now because uh, to show the carburetor, so you might need to uh, take a photo from that side. Uh, from that side, you can show the spark plug, the oil turner, and uh, this is the, in fact, uh, the choke is connected to the carburetor. Uh, so this is the choke here, and therefore this is uh, between, uh, you, so you just put an arrow between uh, air cleaner and the uh, tank, and you know that's the, uh, it's the carburetor. This is the speed control. If you want to increase the speed, you increase the, the, uh, the hole that goes inside. Uh, okay, for uh, number four, so you need to identify those things using you may have to take uh, one photo here and another photo from there to get everything. Ah. Okay, so we uh, ah, okay. We go through the clean of the dust, oil, and other rubbish to around the following points. Okay, the uh, fuel tank filler. <coughs> this thing here. Engine oil filler. So I think Jan has done that already. But um, yeah, so it's just wiping these things, making sure that uh, if you feel the, the oil or that, you don't accidentally put dust in there. Air filter, here, Jan has just done that. A spark plug. So just checking. I think that it says in. Um, Manual that you need to have a, 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 a space needs to be. This is a this is a gauge, and it has um, the thickness of these things, which gives you the thickness of the uh, of the spark plug cap. Uh, so, um, okay. So that's like zero point seven five. Uh. Yeah. Okay. And grease uh, nipples, nipples. This machine doesn't have any nipples. Huh? Nipples mean um, the. Uh, it's usually used in the bigger machines, like tra <coughs> tractors, where you uh, need oil. Uh, I mean uh, grease. Where you need grease to. Um, Lubricate. So <clears throat> the nipples are, are um, we'll, 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 we'll cover those when we have a look at the tractor. But the nipples are for the, the grease gun. You fit into the nipple and you, uh, you uh, what do you call it, you uh, pump it. Uh, and because grease is a, is a, is a, is not a, well, not really a, uh, uh, a liquid. It's, it's sort of, 
It's sort of like a jelly. Uh, okay? So you need a, you don't need a tank for it, but you do need to to uh, push it between metals. This one doesn't have that, so you can say no nipples. Uh. So um, remove the spark plug and clean it. We've just done that. <coughs> Measure the plug cap, adjust. Yeah, it's at 0 0.76 millimeters. So we've done that. Test for spark at the plug cap. Can we do that? Can we is okay, it should start the engine. Ah. So you can replace, check the oil levels. We've done that. Did you take a, yeah, for these things, just say done or yes, yes, uh, yeah. Just seven, done, done, nine, done. Observe and record the kind of air filter I already told you what it is. It's a, it's a sponge a soaked air filter. <coughs> this one doesn't have yet uh, the sponge, but the sponge is, uh, is, uh, is soaked in oil and the, the air goes inside, goes through the sponge, and um, the uh, dirt is caught, and, and, uh, and then the air, it only air goes into the cup reader. Um, so it's a, for 10, it's an oil soaked sponge, air filter. Uh, remember that we had a look at the diesel last week, it was a, an oil bath. At, uh, replace and tighten correctly. <coughs> okay, so done. Uh, fuel, fuel tank with the correct grade of fuel if needed. Okay. So Ken is doing that now. So this is petrol. Your petrol is slightly um, um, clearer in color than the diesel. Diesel is a little bit yellowish. Uh, okay, so. That's uh, 13, <coughs> so we'll try now and start the engine and see if it works.
you can stop it by short cut, uh, short circuiting uh, the engine. Yeah. So what happened here was uh, the electricity is short, short, short circuited, meaning instead of the electricity going into the spark plug, it travels back through this thing here and goes back up. So the the spark plug is it has no electricity because instead of going and jumping, it found this uh, more convenient and easier, so it moved this way, and that's why the spark uh, plug. Uh, doesn't work anymore. So if you want to start it again, then you have to op open and get the electricity going on. Any any uh, questions? Yeah. questions? Okay. Uh, let's move to the next one. We go to the two-stroke engine uh, and 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 find. Uh, uh, and uh, then what Ken is doing now, this is a chainsaw, so the, the make is a chainsaw, it's a chainsaw. And Ken is removing uh, the chain because uh, it, it's, uh, it's dangerous for us to start the engine with the, the chain going around. Uh. So uh, what we do, we're only interested in the engine, so we're taking off the uh, the blade. Um. Mm. So, so the make is a uh, it's a chainsaw. This is a, a, a two-stroke engine similar to you know the you can have this, those uh, there's a weed eater there and there's a, there's this other one here. This is a uh, mist, mist blower sprayer. Mm -hmm. That's also a two-stroke uh, engine, but this is also a two-stroke engine. Okay, the make is a uh, chainsaw. The model. I think this is the model. Huh? The look. Uh, the uh, the make. It's a chainsaw. Steel. The model is a uh, is a uh, steel. S T I H L and uh, this is your number. Okay, the model is a steel M F one seventy M S. Yeah, steel. It's a, steel is a, a very uh, popular brand. S T I H L. And the model is MS one seventy. And um, the uh, number. Uh, can you read it out, please? Serial number one one nine six seven four six double zero eight. Can you can you repeat it, please? One one three zero nine six seven four six double zero eight. Eight, a capital eight. Oh, eight. Oh, eight. Not eight. Capital eight. Yeah. Eight. Okay. <coughs> so those are the, those are the, this is this is what's called a, a technical specification. Uh, engine specifications. Engine specifications. Uh, that's another. That's a, a general name for. For question number one, give evidence to prove that this is a two-stroke engine. What do you think? One tank. Uh, one tank. What? Only has one tank. Only has one tank. Ah. This is uh, where you add the fuel. Here. <coughs> mm. So it does have one uh, fuel tank. The only problem with this one is. Uh, it, uh, it does have an oil tank. Yeah. Ah. But you see, um, this oil is an engine oil. It's a, it's a, 
the oil, well, it's not an engine oil, it's a, it's a lubrication oil. But the oil is for the chain, not for the engine. Uh. So the evidence is therefore that there is no engine oil tank because the, the oil is added to the petrol and then put in here. But this one is not for the engine, it is for lubricating uh, the blade. Uh. But if you look at that one here, it has only one, uh, this one here, it, it has only one, uh, one the, the fuel. So the oil is added together here, but it doesn't have another oil tank because it doesn't need to lubricate anything else. Uh. But this is a two-stroke engine. So that evidence is, is more suited, suited to this one than that one. Uh. Mm -hmm. But we do know this is a, this is a, <laughs> so the obvious evidence for this one is that the, the, the engine oil is added to the fuel and put together in it. Okay? They go use the Miller port photos as provided or of the engine and it labeled the following. So you can use your own photo here if you like. Uh, or you can use the other ones of Moodle with you. Provided that I can see that, that you are you, you attended this, that your name is on our signature list for today. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, take, yeah, yeah, where the fuel is added, so you just throw that here. The fuel is added here. The air cleaner, where's the air cleaner for that one? Yeah, okay. I think that's the cleaner. Oh. Okay, so just, here. Yeah. So that's the air cleaner, <coughs> the carburetor, oh, yeah. with tank, uh, fuel and oil here. So the carburetor, where's, where's the choke? Choke nut. Yeah. So this is the, the carburetor. You know the carburetor is, the, the choke is always attached to the carburetor. So you know that this carburetor is somewhere inside here. Uh, it's not very obvious. <coughs> since this is the choke, the carburetor must be attached to the choke. Okay, so enough. Hmm? Okay, so let, uh, since uh, we only need to, to uh, demonstrate how to mix in a small amount, ah, mm. so we do a small amount would be uh, two one. Two one. Huh? Yeah, it's enough. Okay. Okay, we are going to mix Lally uh, um, Ratio and Power. Oh, that's a premix, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see what the... Ratio The ratio. Okay. Ratio. Okay. Well, in here it gives uh, different ratios. And the amount, uh, so, so this one is a bit more convenient for those who don't want to calculate. Uh. But for us, let's do some calculation. Let's use the 25 to 1 ratio. So we're going to use the ratio of 25 to 1. Normally, when, when you get a new uh, two-stroke engine, we normally use a ratio of 25 to 1. That's what I... Once uh, it, it, it's been running for some time, then you can you can cut it down to to um, fifteen to one. But this one, uh, yeah, the ratio. Is, this one starts with is twenty to one. Uh, so yeah, well, let's use uh, twenty-five to one. Okay, we need a paper to to only uh, mix. 200 mils, uh, that's 200 milliliter of a uh, mixture of petrol and oil. That means, uh, which is a ratio of, ratio 
of uh, 25 to 1. That means 25 petrol and one of oil. Now, what this ratio means is that if you put the two together, you have 26 parts. Ah, 25 of petrol, one of oil. So total parts <coughs> is equal to 26. That means the petrol would, the, uh, the uh, proportion of petrol would be 25 out of 26, and oil would be one out of 26, because you add these, uh, you add these two together and you get 26 over 26, which is one, ah, the total, yeah? These are fractions, really, yeah. <coughs> So, to find the amounts, we want 200 meals. So which, how much of the 200 meals is made up of petrol? And how much of the meal is made up of oil? Uh, is what we want to know. So petrol is equal to 25, of, who has a calculator? Multiplied by 200 meals. Who has a calculator? Huh? 25 times 200 divided by 26. Twenty-five times two hundred. One nine two. One nine two? One one nine two point what? Yeah, okay, so we uh rounded off to one nine two uh one nine two mils. And oil is equal to 1 over 26 multiplied by 200 mils. In other words, just multiply to like divide 200 by 26. It should be 8. Mm. And you add these two up, it makes 200 mils. So the ratio of, of, um, of yeah, this 25 to 1 192 mils of petrol, 8 mils of oil. You add the two together and we get the amount that we want to mix. Ah. Yeah? Have a problem. Okay, so, uh, why, we use the, again, where's your smaller? Because we, we need eight of, uh, so, can you, yeah, give it, give it to me so I can. So what we're going to use is, for the larger amounts, we're going to use this one. This uh, uh, measuring cylinder. But for the small amount, we're going to use this one. You can see, three, four, five, six, this is seven, so eight. The oil would be up to here. So we'll measure the petrol first. It would be 192 mil. So you need to look at, uh, look at, uh, here, you see, you have to uh, look at the measuring cylinder and estimate, ah, it's 100 up to here, 100 up to here, <coughs> 200 up to here, see, this is uh, halfway, uh, so this must be 150. One, two, three, four, five. 150. Yeah. Um, How much is this? Uh, it's 10. 10. Uh, 10. So each of these uh, smaller divisions is 10. Uh, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, and, yeah. So each of these divisions is. Uh, 10 mules. So, <coughs> in other words, what's our 192? So, <coughs> this is 150. This is uh, 160, 170, 180, 190. So, just a little bit over this line. Huh? Huh? Yes. 
Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So you eat the. You eat the. Mm. Like oh, pest, yeah. You must know how to uh, make the messages. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 192. Mm. Okay, so that one is 192. So you do the measurement also, making sure you uh, work out how you know those uh, those lines. How, how, many, how many are? In the, in the, out in the, in the village, they just have this uh, small uh, cup. They make a mark on it. And that's it. Well, wait. No. Okay. So, eight. This is a five. Five, there's, a, there's no six. But there's a mark halfway between five and seven. So that must be six. Uh, mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight. This is the correct one. It's a little easy, huh? uh, it, it ranges from 20 to 1 to 100 to 1. <coughs> so there's a big range, huh? But um, it's always, uh, you know, you can use any range that you feel like it, but always uh, read the manual to the, the, the recommendations. And, uh, but, uh, so, you know, a little variation shouldn't really uh, be too much of a problem, but it's always, uh, it's always good to uh, at least follow the recommendations as much as possible. Uh, yeah. So we're going to uh, yeah, start and run the engine. The other things like checking the, the, the spark plug and etc. etc. You should also do it for this one, uh, like we did for the <coughs> for the other engine. Uh. So the evidence that to um, the most uh, you know uh, suitable uh, for number two, give evidence to prove that this is a two-stroke engine is the fact that. The oil and petrol are mixed together in one fuel tank. Because there is a, a, a petrol, I mean an oil tank here, but it, it, it's for the plate, not the engine. No. So don't say that uh, it has no oil tank because it does have an oil tank. But say that the petrol is mixed together with the oil for the engine. No. Okay, have any questions? Okay, good. Um, if you don't have any questions, that, then we will um, stop here and uh, you can spend the rest of the time preparing your report or uh, going through the practical again if you want to. Okay? Okay. Uh, for online students, if you have any uh, further questions, uh, don't hesitate to to uh, email me
we'll try and get this video to you as, as soon as possible. So uh, we'll uh, talk to you again. Thank you.